The USA Archery 2020 US Open is brought to you by Trueball and Excel and Matthews. Also brought to you by PSE Archery, Hoyt Archery, Black Eagle Arrows, and Elite. Welcome back to the USA Archery 2020 US Open from Richmond, Virginia. In what in, in absolute moments has turned into a sunny day. I don't even know what's going on. Greg White along with Braden Galantine. Yeah, there's and some <laughs> yellow orb in the sky poking through and I'm not sure what it is. When we shot this morning at 8 a.m., Braden, it was it rained for the entire time we were there, and sometimes absolute downpour. Conservatively, we got an inch of rain this morning. Conservatively, at 100%. But now we are setting the stage for our Bear Bow Men's Gold Medal Match here in Richmond, Virginia. And we have two of the biggest powerhouses in Bear Bow Men's Competition, John Demmer and John Dillinger. So you can see John Demmer already lined up to take his first shot. As Demmer launches his arrow down, he scores a nine. Now, Braden, these two archers are standing how far away shooting at what target? So this is a 50 meter competition at a 122 centimeter target face. This is your standard 70 meter target face for the Olympic recurve shooters. And of course, this is the US Open. And two days before was the 136 USA Archery Target Nationals. Those were two 72 arrow scoring days. And then they ranked each competitor in their respective divisions, and they shot elimination, single round elimination, to get to this gold medal match. So Demmer starts off strong with three nines. Dillinger. Need a 10 here to tie the set. Just off left. So we get two set points for John Demmer. So Demmer takes an early lead, and in this competition, we will see judges go down to confirm the scores. Now, Braden, while this scoring is going on, which is very standard across world archery, USA archery, and a bunch of other uh, the countries do it this way, especially this 50-meter competition, 70-meter competition we'll have later on, as a shooter, are you trying to take advantage of these moments? Are you trying to calm your nerves? Like, what are you doing in between these sets? So a lot of times the archer will come back, talk to their coach about what they were seeing with the wind, what they did to make adjustments. And it's it's a chance to talk through your mental approach and the changes you've made and have somebody else, you know, be inside your head as well and bounce ideas off you. So it's a chance to just kind of regroup, refocus, and go out and make, hopefully, improvements to shoot better the next end. And if you're new to archery, this is bare bow competition. And you're hearing us talk about bare bow because we're literally describing the type of equipment they're using to shoot arrows. Correct. A bare bow is exactly what it sounds like. It's a bow <laughs> and arrows, <laughs> and that's it. So y when you'll see later with the recurve archers or the compound archers, they'll have stabilizers coming off the front to help with overall stabilization of the bow. They'll have sights that they can make adjustments to hit the middle. With a bare bow, they're shooting not instinctively, but they only have the arrow or an alignment piece on their bow to aim with. An outstanding way for any beginning archer to come into the sport of archery. It can be definitely very cost effective for a lot of people to get into archery. For a lot of people out there that are watching that may be new to archery, this is something that you have seen before, maybe even have tried in camp. And this is the highest level in the United States. You're seeing the US Open Championship as John Dillinger who is now zero to two over Demert, will start us off 50 meters, close to 55 yards. It was a beautiful shot in 122 centimeter target face. That's standard across all countries, including world archery. And what an answer. Oh boy. You can see the X scores. That's that smaller ring inside the 10 ring. Count that as an X. Whoa. 10. Very impressive. Okay. Doors open. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so a nine scored there. So John can clinch the set. Bring it to two to two with the ten here. Clean shot. Oh, oh, just off left. That might have been just a smidge of wind, as the wind is blowing from right to left. Correct. For the tie. Oh. 
Yeah, he had a little a little hitch on the back half there. You can see it like a second guess. Maybe the maybe his alignment wasn't right where he wanted it to be when he was ready to fire. So he might have just, you know, held on to it for a second longer, brought it closer to where he wanted to execute. You could see Demer peeking into a spotting scope. Correct. He's using the spotting scope to see his arrows. Um, the spotting scope magnifies between 20 and 60 power. It, it's a chance to really see the arrows as if you were downrange. As we wait for official confirmation, we can see that John Demmer and John Dillinger, who have been in this position many times as competitors over the years, are going to be all tied up at 2-2. Now, here's something that's unique that our viewers cannot feel, Braden, is we are in a makeshift canopy area with some walls around us because of the rain that we had earlier today. With the sun out, all of a sudden the heat has absolutely skyrocketed. Right, the humidity's through the roof. You can definitely feel it. Yeah, and does does humidity or heat affect the way an arrow can fly through the air? Humidity definitely has an effect on the the wind itself. So obviously with humidity, air density, it makes the air heavier. And whenever the wind is blowing a heavier air, you're going to have more wind drift. So that's another thing these guys need to pay attention to as the humidity goes up. They may be seeing an extra inch, inch and a half of drift at 50 meters. And what's at stake, of course, is the gold medal for the USA Archery 2020 US Open. We shoot elimination matches when we get to this point. You're guaranteed a silver medal. But anyone who gets to this point is not resting on their laurels and not saying, oh, it doesn't really matter. I'll just go ahead and settle for silver and just shoot whatever I can shoot and see what happens. This is competition as deep as it gets. John Demmer, the third, back to full draw. And we'll send our first arrow down for our third set. And he starts off solidly with a 10. Now John Dillinger. Oh, oh an eight left. That is not the answer he was looking for. Another, Another 10. 10. He looks like he's zoned in now. The shots are breaking really quick, really fast, strong. Oh, there it is again. But you notice he doesn't have a single arrow to the right of center. Yeah, that is true. John's starting to really feel it. John Demers is starting to really feel it right now. You can tell with the way his shot's breaking, and he clinches the set to go 4 2. Not enough points available left for Dillinger to outscore, but. but you still want to shoot that arrow to learn more and, and get better prepared for the following end. This is some really impressive shooting. It really is. And if you notice the cadence of the shooters, it's, it's really quick, it's really fast, it's like a really consistent rhythm. And that's an, another really important thing to be doing with recurve or compound in any, in any you know, discipline. Anytime you can control those forces a little bit more, the pressures in your push and your pull, you're gonna get a more consistent impact on range. How do you do that in practice though? When you're, when you're on your own, would you practice your own rhythm or cadence, or would there, is there times when you would practice different types to kind of see where you would excel right. at, at so, different rhythms? So I'm a compound shooter, and our shots are really depicted and controlled by the sight picture. So I, I need to have a really solid sight picture before I can start executing a shot. So for me, I find the most consistent part of my aim. So for me, it's between three and five seconds. So mm -hmm. I want to be breaking my shot between three and five seconds. So when I'm training, I really focus hard on, on my timing of breaking, you know, 90, 95% of my shots within that time frame. Possibil uh, possibility for John Demmer on target number one to close out the gold medal match. At the bottom of those targets, you can see that there was a number two and there's also a number four down there that indicates to the shooter a good look at our wind and what these shooters are dealing with. A good look at what they're having to deal with, but it also indicates to them their set points. And so John Demmer will shoot second. Oh, great shot go. by Dillinger. Oh, got a low left seven there from Den Demmer. Oh, that was a bit of a miscue. And now there's an opportunity for John Dillinger to grab these two points back if you can just keep that rhythm going. Clean shot. Ooh. That was surprising to see. It looked like he was in his rhythm as well. So, But again, this is bare bow. Anything can happen. Right. And that just happened. 
Emmer knows that he's got an opportunity, but currently Dillinger up by one point. He, so, so there's an opportunity here. Yes. Yeah, so if Demmer shoots a nine, we're going to go to five three. It'll be a tie. If he shoots a ten, he wins. Seven. We're tied four four. Wow. <laughs> and you could see on his face the moment he let that go. He had that look on his face of, uh-oh. Right. <laughs> and we've all been there behind the post. So right that was now. either like a sight picture malfunction where, you know, he didn't, he wasn't able to release where he wanted to because of the wind, or it was just not a clean shot. And maybe a little too a different finger pressure, a different follow through with his bow hand. Could have been a number of things. Barebo senior men gold medal match. And number four. And we're going to be all tied up in this one. Now, Braden, let's talk about the senior designation in Barebow Senior Men. Right. USA Archery has a variety of designations. There's uh, juniors, masters. What does seniors cover? Senior comes, uh, covers up to 50 years old. Traditionally, it's 21 to 50 years old. But if anyone's younger, they can always shoot up a division. Or if you're 50 plus, you can shoot down a division and compete with senior. But senior is the bulk of comp competition. And also where we find really the peak athletes at their peak performance, isn't it? I mean, that's where, really where we're seeing a lot of that. Exactly. Anytime you have a hot junior shooter, you'll see them shooting up and shooting in the senior division because it's it's the division with most accolades. And because of um, COVID-19 and a variety of situations all over the United States, we saw the the, the JOAD, which Junior Olympic Archery Development uh, Tournament, canceled. So we saw... I saw uh, Nathan Zimmerman here, a competitor who's 15 years old and was competing. Right. There were a lot of a lot of young talent here this weekend, and I think I believe one of the junior shooters finished fourth place for the senior men's compound, which was very impressive. A lot of young talent coming up, trying to knock Braden Galantine off of his perch in compound. Man, how do you continue to keep your level so incredibly high, Braden? It's a struggle. You know, when, when you're trying to get to the peak, it's always you always have someone in mind, someone to beat. And then when you get there, you have, see these young kids coming up, and it's like, man, I have to stay ahead of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of where we are with John Dillinger and John Demmer. John Demmer has been the standout in men's bare boat in right, the United he's the States. the Tiger Woods. He, he, he is, absolutely. And so we're getting to see him at his peak performance. But John Dillinger trying to snatch gold right out of Demmer's hand. And he's got the lead. So we're at 4-4. Four, four. How do you see this match playing out? What's the possibilities? Well, if they end up tied, mm -hmm. which Demmer just did his darndest to get back to the tie, uh, nine here would set the match even with an arrow to go. Uh, we'll go to a single arrow shoot off like we talked about. There's nine, so we're tied up with one arrow to go. Demmer's experience definitely gives him the edge with a single arrow here. Big gust, and he's still ten. able to pull it off. Very impressive. And he knows it. So John Dillinger has got to shoot a 10 to keep this going. And he does! Yes, 28-28. We're going to a single arrow. <laughs> That's incredibly... It's, it's hard enough to shoot a 10 you know, in your backyard, <laughs> yeah. but to need it to force a shoot off is a whole different story, especially in these conditions. It's, it's incredibly impressive. And two, two sets of emotions as John Demmer, with a smile on his face back at his target as we take a look at the arrow his impacts. His smile is more in disbelief than anything <laughs> Isn't else. it, right? Because you know, Braden Wright, you throw that 10 down there and you're like, oh, dude. It's I, on. It's on, right? Right, yeah. And then all of a sudden, this guy right here answers it, and you're just like, you've got to be kidding me. I had that gold in the bag. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful shot. <laughs> look at him just staring it down. <laughs> at that point, he's just willing it in the middle. Unbelievable. So with that tie, the first tie we've seen per end, yeah, a little bit of relief in that one. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Okay. One arrow. One arrow closest to center. If both athletes shoot a 10, they'll shoot a second arrow. You've been in this pressure situation before. What are the things that are going through your mind now? You have you every ready? negative thought going through your mind, and you <laughs> also have you, it's your opportunity to replace them with positive. So for me, I have my own personal mantra where I'm saying, don't think, just shoot. And I tell my that's to myself that every time I draw a bow. Hmm. So it's just kind of an opportunity to try to get back to your roots and focus on the form and the process and, and allow your arrow to land the best that it can. A single arrow, four gold, and the title of USA Archery 2020 US Open champion. Will these two drag this out to one more arrow? Or will one of them 
Grab it. So there's the bar being set. Now it's going to be closest to the center. Wins it all. And there, and there it is. There it is. Wow. So how about that? In two arrows, a shift to John Dillinger as applause from John Demmer as we go and we'll confirm it, but we can clearly see it from here. It's not a very close call on this one, but the officials have to take a look and they're not going to declare that it's John Dillinger takes victory and gold and is now USA Archery 2020 US Open champion. Two friendly competitors and really Braden, if you look at that entire match, it comes down to that two arrows ago, that 10 that Dillinger needed. Right, I think Dillinger really, he just stole the momentum at that point. He seized his opportunity and just kind of rode it out to the championship. So when it's all said and done, we'll be able to look back on this match and John Demmer was able to grab points first, 27 to 26 points. And then Dillinger came back in the second end, 29 to 27 to grab his two points. In the third end, it was John Demmer who was able to go up 29 to 28. And in the fourth, 25 from Dillinger to Demers, 22. And then we went to that 28-28. And now John Dillinger gets to go put the headset on and have a little chit-chat with us. What a match that was. Incredible. Still more matches to come as John Dillinger is now on the headset. John, Greg White here. Congratulations. What an outstanding match. Tell me about it. Uh, thank you. It's, uh, I've been working hard for this for a while. I mean, last year it came down to a one arrow shoot off also, and he got me by, <laughs> I think he shot a, a 10 or an X and I shot a nine. So this is, uh, this is great. So. Tell me about the pressure of that second to last arrow. You had to have that 10. Did you, were you aware that you had to have that 10 to drag this thing out to a one arrow shoot off? I didn't know the exact score, but I knew he shot a solid end, and I knew I had to shoot a 10, and it just, I got a little lucky. With this wind, you never know, and it just fell in, so I just, I'll take it. So now you get this redemption. How are you feeling inside? Oh, it feels great. You know, I get a, I get a Demmer dollar. You so get a Demmer dollar? To explain that. We, we usually bet a dollar on these tournaments. It's either Lancaster or Vegas or this shoot. And uh, the winner gets a signed dollar. And they usually put a little little note on it. So this will be my second Dimmer dollar. Well, he, he, he has a few more <laughs> than, a, than a couple. So. Well, congratulations. I don't know what's what's more in your heart, the gold medal or the Dimmer dollar. But they're, they're, worth, they're, both, they're both great. I would right. call it about equal. So anytime you can beat that guy is a, is a good day. Well, congratulations, so. man. It was, it was outstanding to watch. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. So there you go. Men's bare bow, and it came down to a single arrow shoot off in changing conditions. The sun was out at the beginning, and then the clouds came back over, and the wind started blowing, and it was down to just a single arrow closest to the center that decided gold. More coming at you from Richmond, Virginia. USA Archery 2020 US Open rolls on. If you're punching the clock between punching tags, chances are you know a thing or two about hard work. Because when you put in the time, you better get your money's worth. Boom, a new Hoyt Nitrix. This thing is tough as nails, and at 4.1 pounds, it's lighter than most chihuahuas. And oh yeah, it also slings an air at 333 feet per second. It never gives an inch. It'll go against anything. Cape buffalo, white-tailed deer, elk or snapping turtle, it don't matter. You want a bow you can drag through the mud and trust in your tree stand come bow season? This is your freezer filling, tag punching, season saving, all around go to bow. And only your Hoyt dealers got it. This is the Hoyt Nitrix.
one chance, one moment, one shot. That's a good feeling to know I can make this bow do whatever I want it to do and it will react. This thing is just so much more stable and uh, it just controls an arrow so well. The coolest part about it is all you need is a Torx wrench and a couple of Allen wrenches and you can just stand there on a line. You don't have to run and put it in the press, move those shims. This, this is a dream to work with right now.